we are here with the whole family. So, you know, it's gonna be another Doc Martens video. Hey, I'm Jen and I don't really closely follow trends, but I've seen a lot of trend videos coming up on YouTube lately. And I thought, hmm, Doc Martens are normally on this trends list, but what if we delve deeper and go within that trend and see what are the trends inside the Doc Martin space? How many times am I gonna say trend in this video? So get ready to go full Docception because in this video we are talking the Doc Martin trends of 2022. So Doc Martens have a very long history, so they kind of come in and out of style a lot. In my mind, they are always in style. But over the last few years, we have been seeing a lot of change within the favorite styles. We have basically seen the literal rise of the soles going from the original sole, then to the Beck sole, to the quad sole, and then the quad max sole, which is very popular at the moment. I mean, I can see why you kind of keep your feet dry if it rains. Yeah. I'm not saying Doc Martin platforms are a new concept. They definitely had their moment in the 90s, but they've recently become the very cool girl shoe. The most popular of the platform styles being the Jaden, which I have here, which is just a 8i boot with the platform sole. So these have become a staple in almost everybody's wardrobe. Not necessarily the white color, but the black in particular, why? Because they're badass. You can stomp on anything in these. They kind of look dressy. You can wear them out at night. And also they have a zip. This is a game changer. Now, to be honest, I thought the zip was ugly at first. Um, I was like, why put a zip when you have laces? Especially in the white pair. I think they really miss the opportunity to just put a white zip pair. It's like, just doesn't match the boot at all. But... I have learned to really love the zip. Purely because if you take me to a thrift store and I need to try something on, I will have those bad boys off within seconds, faster than you can say vintage. So these are a great style. They're not really going anywhere soon, but they're not super unique because literally everyone has them. This has then led to popularity in styles like the Sinclairs and the Jaden Maxes to give people a more unique, different kind of boot instead of having the Jaden. Now, if I didn't already have many Jadens, I would probably have the Sinclairs because they also have the zip option. It's just at the front of the boot, but you can take that out and you can just lace it normally. And then you basically have a Jaden shoe with a little bit of difference. Following on from that, we have been blessed with so many different platform styles, yet they are so popular that they sell out like almost immediately. That has then led to, of course, a craziness online where people are trying to sell all those popular styles like the Bethens and the 8053s or even the Quad 1461s at a very crazy, stupid price of like $400. But side note, if you need tips on how to find cheaper Doc Martens online, um, hit me up. I will make a video about it. So I really think a combination of two things has brought on this craziness when it comes to trying to find platform shoes, I would say. Kind of like this kind of style instead of a boot. Um, honestly, it's just TikTok and Emma Chamberlain. It is very, very hot to me. Emma is, of course, a trendsetter herself. So she knows all the big trends that are coming out somehow with a magical coffee dust or something, as well as TikTok just firing through trends really quickly. We are seeing a lot of like 90s inspired clothing and nostalgia. So obviously the platform dogs are coming back in with new styles because they were popular in the 90s, like I said. At first, when these kind of styles came out, I was like, um, yeah, they're cute, but are they gonna last? Um, but we have been seeing a lot of platform styles for a few years now, and it's not going anywhere. So yeah, I think, I think they're good. Now, would I actually recommend getting these style of shoes? Honestly, if you can find a fair price, something cheaper than $400, I would say only if you're up for the challenge. These bad boys 
are so heavy. Now you have the Jadens, which are also probably quite heavy, but because they have all this ankle support going up your leg, you don't really feel the weight of the sole, just like on your ankles, it's kind of evenly distributed, you know? So it's more comfortable. Whereas this one turns into a bloody anchor on the bottom of your foot. So you can feel how heavy they are if you wear them for a long amount of time. And yeah, they are a little bit uncomfortable, but they do look quite nice. And let's be honest, if you're wearing these with pants, it's just gonna look like you're wearing Jadens anyway, so you may as well get the boot. Or if you wanna go for something different, if you already have the Jadens, I would go the Bethan style. Um, but yeah, again, it is an anchor. And they're also very hard to find until the Lazy Oaf collaboration came out recently, which made it a little less hard, but then harder again, because they sold out. That just goes to show if there's any Doc Martens that you really want and they get released, just get them straight away. Or you could resell them for maybe $400. On a more comfy note, again, stemming from the 90s, we have the Mary Jane style. Now, honestly, when I saw the style, when I was younger, it, I just associated it with like an art teacher or like a hippie person or something. Um, I didn't like them at all. I didn't like the little dots they have here or I just, wasn't into them but i'm glad i've had a change of heart because i love these shoes they're literally the most comfortable dog buns i own didn't take too long to break in or anything and you can probably wear them without socks at some point and they would be fine obviously this is not as unisex as some of the other styles but these look so cute with little dresses and Really, I think what has happened with these shoes coming into style is the whole cottagecore trend. If you're not familiar with that aesthetic, it's kind of like these shoes, a cutesy dress, cute like vintage trousers, maybe a vest. Wait, that's kind of going into dark ac academia that also follows this trend of shoe as well as like, you know, a Kankin backpack. I'm basically just detailing an art student. That's who they're for. But honestly, I'm super happy that they are trending because they're so comfortable, they're classic. And yeah, they're basically gonna last you a long time because they won't go out of style very soon. I feel like with each of these, we're taking away more and more of the fabric from the shoe because now we're talking about sandals. So with the rise of chunky sandals, obviously chunky dock sandals have been popular. Now we have seen the mile sandals becoming quite popular, but honestly they just don't hit quite as hard as the 90s dog martin sandals. Again, yes, we're just like going on about the 90s in this video. Now in particular, we are talking about these slides, like chunky, Lizzie McGuire inspired, colorful slides. Because I'm literally talking about 90s sandals from the 90s, of course, again, the online resellers are really cranking up the price for these bad boys. Like again, like, 200 to 400 dollars for some manky old sandals that have been sitting in your mum's closet for like 20 wait when was the 90s maybe even 30 years it's kind of gross to me like i i get like vintage doc martens you're wearing socks and they can be cleaned but the sandal options are uh, just the bare feet on the fabric um it's kind of gross. Now, if the pricing was right and the shoes weren't marinated in someone else's sweat, I would totally dig this style. It looks so comfortable. You just slide them on. The thing about Doc Martens is sometimes they can be really annoying to put on on the day to day. So having chunky slides, I would totally be in for, except I would definitely be wearing socks of mine because I don't like showing toes. So this is my formal petition for Doc Martens to recreate these styles this summer. I know summer has already happened here in Australia, but it's about to happen in the Northern Hemisphere for you guys. So 
yeah can we just please have those styles come back thank you so those are the doc martin trends of 2022 they don't change too often so i swear i could probably do this video like once a year but yeah that obviously doc martens are classics so you will see those pop up a lot in the future or from the past um but as you saw a lot of the styles are 90s inspired so if you see any other kind of 90s cool doc martens that are different from the ones i mentioned i would probably just snatch them up and of course they are the trends for now but what do i see in the future with doc martens well, obviously platforms are super big right now, they're awesome, but I honestly think people are gonna get bored of them soon and they're gonna opt for more of a classic style like the 1461s. And I'm not just saying this because I love them myself, my literal Instagram name for my Doc Martens Instagram is 1461, but that's just a coincidence. So I'm talking about this kind of style um, with the classic soul. And I'm saying this not just because I want to, but with the Mary Janes coming back, I can see more of classic styles coming in as well as the rise of twee fashion. Um, yeah, we're gonna go more classy now instead of more grungy and 90s. So I'm really thinking it's gonna be the 1461s. So please do let me know when you start seeing all your favorite celebrities um, wearing 1461s. I have called it. That has been my trends video for 2022. My name is Jen. Let me know your favorite styles down below because honestly, who the fridge cares about trends? Um, my Instagram's at in the wonder years. And until next time, keep wondering.